Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm back. Uh, everybody left today. I have a horrible, horrible cold. I had a horrible cold before they came and now it's gotten worse. So I want to do a video. I want to do a page. I got a lot of requests to catch up on a lot of emails and messages. I want to thank you guys so much for emailing me and checking to make sure I'm okay. And, um, I hope that you guys had a great week as well. And I just, I'm going to do a request, uh, for a basic art journal page. Um, a lot of you guys, uh, requested this. It's uh, a lot of you are new to this. So I'm going to do an art journal page, just kind of basic, nothing too, uh, fancy. And, uh, I don't know. I got to see what we're going to do, what the theme is going to be. I have some hot chocolate so I can talk, get through my throat. So I'm going to fold this in half because I have quite a few requests for different types of art journal pages. So I'm going to, this gives me one, I usually do this as one page, but two, three, four, it kind of gives me four for four videos that I'm going to do. So for basic art journaling, I always say you can buy a book. You can get it from the dollar store, a regular book. Um, a lot of you request for me to show my art journals that I have again. And as soon as I find them in my room, I will. I've not had time to uh, organize my room or anything yet. I'm kind of in my little area here, but uh, that, that that's going to be, I do a little bit at a time uh, during the day. So for now, we're going to do an art journal page, but I will show my books and my pages. Uh, but like I said, art journal page, you know, is basically think of it as a painting, whether it be mixed media or acrylic or watercolor, uh, shrunk to the page of an art journal. Some people like to, uh, journal, actually journal in their art journals and writing. And, um, I'll talk about that as I go on. Um, and a lot of people just like to make it a painting. So, you know, it's, it's whatever you like to do. Uh, it could be on any theme that you like. And um, let's just start with a basic background for the second. So I'm going to move my camera in a little bit. I'm still working on a lot of the um, technical things, lighting and, uh, you know, lighting and videoing and all that kind of stuff. So please bear with me. I'm trying. All right. So let's pretend this is our, well, it is our journal page. I'm not going to pretend. Let's do a background. So first and foremost... You want to get some texture in your background. So decide the colors that you want to use. Uh, I think let's go a little, little brighter today than we normally do. Mm, let's do some pinks and greens. Here's a light pink, dark pink. And I'm going to talk about a few things. Um, let's do another color. Mm, how about purple and blue? All right, let's see what we can do with these bad boys. So first let's get some texture going. Now I'm going to add the purple first. Now I'm using the uh, Americana multi-surface satin right this minute, and this is the color eggplant. Now these are wonderful, wonderful paints. They are uh, in between your matte and your glossy. So they're satin. Um, and you can't really, it, it, it's hard to work on top of these in a sense when you're using matte. And I'll show you if we come across any issues, but I do like these because they cover well, and I'm not really too worried about getting it fully covered in the back. And I'll talk about that more as I go. But as I always tell you guys, go to your dollar store, go to your excuse me, your local craft store. Uh, you do your Roy G. Biv black, white, do your red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white. And with those basic colors, you can do a multiple, multiple, uh, multitude of things. Um, I'm sorry, my throat. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, always do that. And then look for the store brands. AC Moore has a store brand. Michael's has a store brand. I think Joanne's might. Um, these are deco art. Fantastic. Americana. Fantastic. Uh, but always look for when you're starting out what's on sale. Um, so you don't feel overwhelmed because I know a lot of you are, uh, you know, tight on money like we all are and you want to 
do it, but you want to, you know, be a little frugal when you do it as well. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to squirt that down. We're going to use, you know, basics at home to uh, get this going. Now, I'm going to dry off my brush a little bit, but it was still wet. But you can see it kind of goes on with a sheen, and it's nice. But I'm just going to smear this on the background. I always go to hearts. And you probably, if you've been with me for a while on here, you guys will uh, have seen me probably do. I do a lot of these basics. But you guys will see that I use hearts. I think when you're starting out, because we all drew hearts in school, uh, you know. <clears throat> and if not... Pick something that you're really good at drawing. Make that your focal. Right now, we're going to do a little bit of a background. Now, I'm going to take... I can't find my spray bottle, which is really bizarre. Uh, I will. It has to be in a box. But for now, because I can't find my spray bottle, I'm just going to take my paintbrush again. And I'm going to just throw some water down like that. Nothing major. You can see my water is dirty. I'm going to take my paper towel. And I'm going to kind of wipe it. You can see some of those water drops now you see how they came through so it gives you like some texture and you can you know if you want more down here you just leave it on for a second it's magical it's just water dirty paint water but it gives you some great texture and you didn't have to pay for it <laughs> you know so you leave it sit for a minute and then take your rag or whatever you have and just kind of rub it like this look at that it's that's beautiful right like that you could do a nice journal cover just like that now maybe i want a little bit more down here you know if you do just kind of do that and wipe it this way i didn't leave it sit as much but you can see some of it came through so that's definitely a easy way you know i could just use paper towels it's an easy way to get it going now, if you have a heat gun, great, dry it. If you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. The only reason you need a heat gun is if you are going to uh, emboss, which I got a lot of requests for embossing and I'll be doing that. But, you know, if you just want to dry something, you can go to your thrift store, your Goodwill. Um, my Goodwill always has hair dryers there for like two bucks. Or just use the hair dryer you have. And you'll see this lighten just a little bit as it's drying. And I'm not going to worry too much if it's uh, all the way dry. So you can see. So we have this great, look at that great texture on there. And we didn't do anything but use, put a coat of paint down so far and water. I mean, that's, you know, Art Journaling 101. That's easy, fun, great texture. Okay, let me just get a little drink of my stuff because my throat is going to, I have a lump. Okay, so I've been missing doing art so much I can't stand it. And I've been writing down off my, uh, when I can get on my phone, I've been writing down requests and stuff that you guys have been messaging me. So I hope to get that taken care of this week. Okay, so, or some of them. We have that, and that's fairly dry. Not a big deal. Do you have to use the uh, multi-surface satin? No, but, um, you know, whatever you use will work just as well. So let's go with some blue. And this is a uh, neon blue. And what I will do is I'm using the Deco Art Americana ones right now, paints. But what I'll do is I do have some, oh my gosh, I do have some inexpensive uh, paints from AC Moore, their store brands that are really, really good. Uh, and I think I have some store brand Michaels, but I'll use those as well, uh, like on the next page, just so you guys can get an idea of maybe what what you like it, uh, the texture or, um, how it works or that you can see that it doesn't really matter that you're going to make great pages, no matter what kind or how expensive your paint is. Don't get caught up on the more expensive is the better. And that, because what happens is you guys then, and I know I was the same way. I would think if I can't afford the expensive stuff or the artist paints or whatever they're called, um, then I can't even do it. And then I wouldn't do it. So I do have the expensive paints and I do have these delicious store brand paints and I'm going to turn my fan off and, um, you're, you're seeing it right here. Very, very good. So that's our first layer. So let's take this 
blue. Now here's something you get at the dollar store. And I've shown this a thousand times as well. So please bear with me. This is for, I am almost, let me tell you how close. I am, I, I just saw this today. I had no clue. Let me see. Here we go. Let me see if my computer is going to work. I have only 26, 26 more subscribers and I'm at 14,000, which is crazy because I, I, this happened so fast. I feel like I just got on 13, but I, uh, I looked this morning when I went on here and I was like, I can't believe it. I am almost at 14. I need 26,000. So please share my video and, uh, or share your favorite video of mine out into the internet space. Uh, just, you know, just to help me out a little bit to get to that 14,000. Um, got good giveaways coming up. I got a lot of good stuff. Okay. So we're going to use some blue. Now, tech, tech, typically, typically I would use sprays. Now I'm going to do a video. I have a video on making your own gesso. I think it was gesso. And, uh, there's, you can make modeling paste, molding paste. You can make sprays, all that. We're going to go through all that. But for now, um, I just want to show you guys. All right. So if you have a spray and you make it yourself, which is very easy, you just take your paint, an empty spray bottle and, uh, some water. You can put a little white school glue in there or a little Mod Podge. You can put, uh, eyeshadow, silver eyeshadow, mica eyeshadow to give it sh shimmer. And what you will get is <clears throat> when you go to spray, I'm just going to spray a little bit cause I'm going to use paint, but you spray through it like that. And you see how that comes through real nice. So it's kind of shining because of the, there's mica in here. But then if you turn this over and press it this way, what happens is you get some more of that down there. So you see how pretty that looks? That's just, and that's your spray. Now, you, like I said, you can make that yourself or you could buy it. This is the uh, Deco Art Media Shimmer Mister. And why I like these is because they're permanent when they dry. Uh, but you don't have to have them again. It's what you can afford. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some, uh, videos on doing it yourself, making it yourself because a lot of my stuff is made, uh, that I've made. Oh gosh. Okay. I didn't even take my, uh, what did I take a decongestant or something? I didn't do that yet. Cause I'll probably fall asleep. All right. What have you guys been doing all week? I I'm trying to get caught up on videos. I just picked the giveaway winners. That's in the video before this. And um, have you guys been doing anything fun this week? I got to check out videos because I'm so behind. Okay, so we have this. And then we're going to have this. And we'll do up here. And this is one way that you can use your paint in the paint in the jar. It's not the word. All right. Take your paintbrush. You don't want it too wet, but you want it a little wet and you can see it's a little wet and I'm going to go on here and I'm going to just, now the wetter it is, it's going to be probably sliding underneath, but I don't care for this one. But as we go on with different pages, I'll show you how to make it a little bit tighter where you don't have to, uh, where you don't water it down. But just to show you, because that's what I'm doing, look. So you can see how it's a little wetter. You can still see the letters, though. And you're getting the same thing. We're making grungy. It's nothing nothing too uh, too fancy. We just want some. I'm just going to. And I'm not even worrying if I get it all in all there. Okay. So I got that. And you can see it's right here now. I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it over. And I don't care. There's going to wipe this, push that down. I don't want to get my hands all over it for the minute. Pick it up and you see, you get all this great, it's great texture. Okay. So I'm going to dry this very quickly. Again, you don't have to dry it. Leave it sit for, you know, five minutes while you get, think of your next thing that you want to do or get it ready or have a drink. Mm -hmm. 
Now you definitely don't have to draw it all the way because we're working on top of it. But here you go. Now this becomes, how many layers did we do? We did the purple layer and then we did the spray with the stencil and that's two layers already. So you're two layers in with your mixed media. Now I've done, geez, 10, 11, 12. I mean, I, it, you know, I've done so many layers and then I've done a few layers. So let's go very basic and let's do a heart on here. Let's just, let's just go for it. Now you can sit here and you can say, you know what? I like this, but I think I want to do another layer before I add my final on it. Well, what color do you want to use? Well, I might use, hmm, what color? Maybe I'll go with, what color are you, mister? It's still lighter blue. It's called Waterfront in Americana, Americana Multisurface. And I think what I'll do is, Okay, I'm going to take some of my yellow tape. I've done this many times before. And it's a little sticky. It's just painter's tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it on my pants for a minute and rip it off a couple times like you're waxing, you're waxing your uh, eyebrows. If anybody does that, I do. And they need them. And my mustache. I'm getting older and there's a mustache growing in, a mustache growing in places hair that I don't even know why there would be hair there, but there is. All right. So I know here I might put my heart, might put my heart. I don't know exactly where, but uh, let's do up here and let's take, this is as big as I got it. Let's just rip it in a few pieces and let's make our own stencil. All right. And I mean, you're just ripping and I'm sticking it on the piece before it. So when I rip it up, it comes up and you can see, I'm just, and you can go as elaborate or, you know, not elaborate as you want. You can see I have a body here and I'll take this off. Maybe I'll do a square head just because there's no reason for me to do that, but that's what I'm doing. And then I think I'll do a little bit here and I'm just doing a very odd, you know, the more, obviously the more tape or paper that you use, the better. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of the, I'm going to shake this. These, <coughs> excuse me, mm. these multi-surface satins need shook. If you don't shake them, you're going to get clear out and then it becomes a mess. All right, let me take my brush back, dry off a lot of that water, go in. And then I'm going to go around this, just like this. As much or as little as you want. We're just adding, because we want that, what this is going to do is going to leave that purple underneath there. And, you know, you have a little bit left on your brush and you want to just do random down here, by all means. Do it over the thing that you did. It doesn't matter. We're just playing. All right, I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun just for a second. Just to get a little of that moisture out. Now what's good is the tape, like if we, as we take the tape off, let's do that. Let's peel this off. I'm peeling it separate, but you can definitely take the minute, but save these. And they still got a little stick on the back and you can use them again and reconfigure them into another, another shape. But this is coming up. And you see how that leaves that there? And like I said, save your tape. You can use it again. I'm going to maybe save this for the next one just so you guys can see. And then you have these underneath. So now you have another layer. So you get the gist. You can do it. As many times as you want, move the paint around, move the tape around, do whatever you want. Now, I want to go a little, uh, a little different. I think I'm going to start with the ballerina, the light pink for the heart. Now I'm looking at it, and I, I think I might make it small here and might do a quote. I don't know. So I'm going to take some of this out. You guys have been requesting. Um, a lot of crochet stuff. So I'm going to be doing that too, coming up the basic crocheting.
Um, I got such a great feedback for the knitting, so we're going to go through crochet steps. And I have a lot more knitting, knitting steps that people have been asking for, so we shall see. All right, so I'm going to stick down here. I'm just going to squeeze it on there. I'm not going to worry. This is a ballerina pink. And <clears throat> make your heart as funky or as beautiful or as whatever way you want to do it. And I'm just going to take it like this. Start a little smaller than you may want it because you can go back and make it bigger. That's kind of what I'm going to do. Very simple. See how simple that is? Now go through your magazines. You might find pictures in there you want to use and substitute that for the heart or something that you might want to print out. Just make sure that, uh, you know, if it's a copywritten kind of thing, you use it only for your journal. You don't sell it. That's why I always encourage everybody to just kind of do hearts. Everybody can do a heart. Uh, we learned them in school and, uh, not, you know, nobody's going to say anything to you. So got a heart. You see mine went off the page. It doesn't matter. Um, now I'm going to go in with a little of the darker. And just put a little bit on my head. And this color is called Flamingo. Oh, like John Waters, pink Flamingo. And you see, I'm just going around those edges because I want to add a little bit of color. And you can do this any color you want. Just want to outline it. If you want to paint it, if you, there's been many times I've done this and thought, hmm, I want the whole heart that pink color instead. But you can see it makes it stand out. And we can journal in here. So that's kind of where we're going to get the art journaling in. And you'll see that. Now, you can see I didn't do a, a fantastic coat of the lighter pink under here, but I don't care. I love that texture. It kind of goes with the background. Now, Let's say you want to put a quote on here. Uh, let's let me think of it. Let me look up a good quote, just a short quote, so I can show you guys the journaling part. If that's what you want to do, let's see. Heart quotes. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I just want a short one. I always say I was going to put, but uh, you make my heart smile because uh, maybe I'll do that. Cause I say that all the time. It makes my heart smile. All right. How about we'll do keep loving your heart. All right. So I'm going to take this left here. What's left of this pink. And maybe I want a journal up here. Like, I'm going to journal in here. Maybe I'll do the quote up here. So what I'm going to do is you, and then what I'm doing is making for me to be able to write on it a little easier. You don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you an alternative. You can write right on there with white if you want or paint. All right, let's see. <laughs> Do them different sizes, the boxes. They don't have to be the equal if you don't want them to be equal. They don't, they can be white. You don't have to make them pink. You can see this dries very fast. All right, let's see. We'll do heart over here. And a little water just to extend that a little bit more. Just to give you guys the idea, I'll attach it on there. No big deal. All right. So you see, we have those there, and that's what we'll write on uh, for our quotes. So let me just wipe this off. Now, think about this. You can make this an ATC size. So do this 
as a background uh, and all on an ATC and you have yourself an ATC card. I have a lot of requests for me to do ATC cards. That'll be coming up as well, but you can definitely shrink this onto an ATC card. I would teach ATC classes at a, uh, at a store, not Michael's. It's a store, uh, Jersey Mead. Um, I love doing it. I did it uh, a couple times, uh, for the holidays. So it was like a winter themed ATCs and whatnot and Halloween. <clears throat> it was so much fun. I should find the post of it where I have all the pictures of things I did. But anyway, you see what we're doing here. I'm going to just draw this for a quick second. Now, I'm going to take a regular pencil and you can see this. So if you want, if you're like me, I write wonky. My hands are messed up. My wrists are messed up. But so I write very, I end up writing everything weird. Like I turn this and I go, it's crazy. If you want it to be more, uh, I don't want to say normal, but we all know I'm not normal. Go in with your ruler and you can use a straight line of anything. I mean, I can use this, you can use a book, a piece of tape, even you can use your tape that we just cut off and you can go in and you can draw small, uh, lines for writing. If you want, I don't like doing that, but, uh, I like to make it more, I don't know, kind of funkier. So I'm going to make it kind of go downhill. That way I'm not beating myself up because I'm not going straight. So I'll just leave that line like that. Now you can go in with your black paint or a marker. I love Faber-Castell markers. I love them. I love them. I love them. I also have many pens and I'm going to talk about them. You guys ask a lot about my pens of what I use, but with this, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to trace the best I can. I'm not going to worry about if I don't exactly do it right. Cause again, this is and stay in your heart. You see, I went outside that heart, but no big deal. But can you see already how, how much that adds interest to it? And that's, you know, I also love to trace, but I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so now you can journal. Um, well, I'm thinking about what to journal. Let me write here and I'm going to just use this. You can use white as well. I'll, well, you know what? Maybe I'll use white. You can use a uh, delicious whiteout pen if you want. Thick makes this. I don't know if I have any left in here, but we're going to say, because I used the crap out of this thing and it doesn't look like there's anything coming out. I can hear it, but it's not being my friend. No, not being my friend, but those are great to use. Where's my, <sighs> I have them. Where'd they go? <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, I'll just use this pen. Hopefully this is working. All right, so I'm going to go in again. You can use paint and we'll use paint to do it in another video, but I think I tell you, I haven't been down here for over a week and uh, we're working with my art stuff and everything's like mad at me and it's just showing it's not wanting to do anything with me. Plus, I've been throwing a lot of stuff away. This might be the next thing I throw away. La 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 la. All right. You are getting on my nerves. So we're going a different way. How about we use blue? Let's use blue. Because frankly, I'm burning up with a high fever and I don't want to play around with white. There we go. These are the Deco Art Glass paint markers. This is in blue. These are my favorite things. I use these with everything. All right. So you can go in here and be fancy if you want to color them in. Now I'm going to show you because this paint is satin. This is what happens. Am I mad at it? No, because it's going to go with my grunge, but you could see it beat up a bit because I'm writing on a satin surface. You, you're going to hear my dog cry in a minute. Make 
and just write. I have horrible handwriting, but <clears throat> it's can't have everything, can I? My and again, you can go in and fancy up. Heart. See how simple, crappy handwriting I have? That's what I did. Now, I'm going to leave that dry for a second while I decide what I want to write in here. Um, <clears throat> maybe something good happened today for you. Maybe, uh, I don't know, you, you had a lottery ticket and you won a dollar. Got yourself some coffee. Maybe the food that you got at the restaurant was extra, extra delicious. Maybe you, I, I don't know, maybe life is just good for you today. Whatever. But write that in. Um, I'm going to write fall is finally here. And then I can go in and journal, you know, whatever I want to write. Um, and that's, you know, completely up to you. If you don't want to do this, and journal, don't leave it like that or even go in and doodle. That's delicious as well. I like to trace and not very well, but I like to trace sometimes. I like that bold kind of look. So this kind of gives it, but again, this is just another way. It does not mean that you have to do it. Fall is finally here. Uh, one more thing, the leaves are falling. I like to do, and I'm, I, I might start this, I've been thinking about it, let me know what you guys think. If you're still with me at 32 minutes, I don't know if you're still with me or not. Um, I was thinking about doing something, um, a small journal of a few pages of what we're thankful for since in America, in the United States, uh, Thanksgiving is coming. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a couple art journal pages of what we're thankful for and making that? We can do the journaling and all that. So let me know down below if that's something that you'd want to do with me. Um, it won't be an all month thing, but it'll be a few days of us just trying to focus on some positive and positivity, uh, you know, and putting it down on paper. You can be, you know, I'm thankful that Dave got me crab legs because he felt bad that I'm sick. He got me crab legs to make for dinner. So, or to make with dinner rather. So, you know. There's so many things to be thankful for as little as crab legs or as big as, you know, as big as your heart can take. So that is going to be our first basic, very basic art journal page. Look at that. That is awesome. And like I said, I'm not, I don't mean to toot my own horn because that's not what I'm doing, but you can see it's very basic. You needed basic stuff, a couple colors, and you went to town. So like I said, I am going to be doing uh all kinds of stuff and i got a bunch of giveaways uh please share my videos because uh i really love to make it to fourteen thousand when i saw it because i haven't really looked in probably almost two weeks and when i saw it i almost peed myself so you know i pee myself out of excitement laughter being scared sometimes moving will make me pee myself so with all that too much information <laughs> i love you guys so much i've missed you guys so much your letters and messages and tweets, I mean, uh, texts and emails and oh my gosh, I can't believe how many I got. So if you don't hear back from me for a little bit, y'all know I'm just getting through them because I got a lot. I'm beyond blessed, beyond thankful. And uh, I just love you guys. So give me a thumbs up if this helped you guys out. If you like seeing these, uh, let me know if you have any tips. Leave them down below for people who uh, are new to this. And um, I hope that this helped y'all who wrote me as a basic, very basic art journal uh, page. It is very basic, but you can see, and it also incorporates the writing, which a lot of people do. Some don't. We won't be doing it all the time, but that's what you guys get. And also look on, you know, if this isn't good for you, sometimes people don't dig me or my uh, tutorials. So if you don't like it, go on YouTube and search. You will find so many people with art journaling um, who are fantastic and wonderful. Uh, the names elude me right now because I, I just can't think. But I mean, you know, there's so much out there. Give love to all the artists. We all rock. They all rock. And you all rock. So be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys. Oh, I love you guys. I will see you hopefully tomorrow in my next video. Bye, guys.